So, I mean, I think the big takeaway from what I saw during the pandemic and my role at Warp Speed was, you know, I was recruited there to be a program manager, a lead program manager of one of the, the vaccines and eventually got emergency use. Moderna, I believe, right? Yes. And, and so I was very fortunate to be paired up with a superstar team that was a hybrid of multiple interagencies. So I got paired up with an interdisciplinary scientist that was at BARDA. I had a lot of program management experience. I had experience uh, accelerating the development of two other vaccines with other interagency and industry, the Ebola vaccine and the currently used MPOX vaccine. And so this was an opportunity for me to take that experience that I had with those two other projects and some other projects and then really provide the leadership for about 20 people on that particular team. And, um, and I think the biggest takeaway that I could share with you is, is that we were in stealth mode for about six or seven months, but it wasn't that we were developing in real time technology that didn't exist. Industry had already developed some of this technology that, you know, that elements were invested in years before, many years before. But what we were doing was we were actually mobilizing a bioindustrial base that needed to be mobilized in a great way. And I think that's the biggest takeaway is that it was more of about it was more about an, in, an industrial mobilization to really uh, take on something as grand as a worldwide pandemic. And so it it was a good utilization of people that know the science that know how to commercialize something, but also know the bigger supply chain and manufacturing ramifications of mobilizing a bioindustrial base. But it also highlighted our vulnerabilities. Yeah. And as we talk about you know, reshoring products here in the United States, not being reliant on, let's say, adversarial nations for certain key materials, it, it really, right now, post-pandemic, that serves as a good backdrop or a good reminder about we can never be in that kind of a vulnerable state again. And so it really serves as an inspiration as, as Blue Zone Bio and a couple of partners we have that are working with a lot of groups that are trying to build that bioindustrial base here. And it's not about decoupling everything from China, it's about rebalancing our relationships across the whole span of the industry, right? Uh, there's gonna be certain things that we have to define here in our country that are gonna be essential uh, there are certain medications and there are certain treatments that are for a high number of vulnerable patients. And we need to prioritize on both the essential and the vulnerable medicines. Things that we only have one source of supply on, whether it's from China or whether it's from a friendly nation or an allied partner, having a single source of supply is a huge supply chain risk.